Alright guys, it is Saturday night. We are back in Maslin at the family video with the Marcos Pizza. We got a return Space Jam and we are going to go in here and find the next awesome, awesome, awesome movie that we're going to watch tonight. Alright guys, I have a movie planned that we are going to watch tonight. We just got to see if they have it here. And if not, I'm going to have to go somewhere else to buy it. But I'm really, really hoping that they have it. Oh. Dropbox. Alright, let's go see. And here it is right in the door, guys. I didn't even have to look for it. <laughs> Joe Dierte. Okay, there's one more thing that I want to get, guys. Um, oh crap, it's not even here. The one time I decided to get it and it's not in. Dark Encounter. I look at this every time I come in here, and I always think it would be, whoops, such a sweet movie to watch. And it's not in. Unless somebody returned it, maybe it's at the counter. Okay, guys, Dark Encounter was not in. It wasn't even in a return bin, so I'll have to watch that one later. But, uh, but we did get Joe Dirt. I know that was a quick trip there. I gotta make this quick today because I got a bunch of things that I have to do. But I was not going to let you down and not give you a Saturday movie. In fact, I filmed something else that kind of ties into this. And it was going to be part of this video. But it was so cool that I just made it its own separate video. And I'll tell you about that in just a minute. First thing I need to get while I am in here is some vegetables. Alright, I got two red peppers and a yellow pepper. Now we need chicken. This is not for the snack, guys. I'm actually making uh, chicken fajitas tonight on my Blackstone griddle. I'm gonna open it up for the very first time, set it up, season it, and make these awesome fajitas, and uh, just do that with my parents tonight. I'm also gonna make a video of that if you wanna see it. But our snack is gonna be something else, and I'll tell you in just a minute. I'm actually in the mood for thighs, but I'm gonna go ahead and get uh, chicken breasts, boneless, skinless breasts, just because I think that's more of what I should use for, for the fajitas. I also want to get some cheese because sometimes cheese is good on these things. You know what, let's get this kind right here. Queso quesadilla cheese. That looks tasty. And now for the movie night. We're not actually going to make a snack tonight. We're just going to get white trash fair food. <laughs> and that begins with corn dogs. If you have not seen Joe Dirt, you have got to see it. There's a point where he's standing at the fair holding a corn dog and it is hilarious. Look, we also have mozzarella sticks. They're only a dollar. Oh my gosh, look at all this, guys. You could just go nuts buying all these fried foods for the white trash fair <laughs> movie night. <laughs> I'm such an idiot. And if I had more time tonight, I would actually be making this stuff keto, but I just don't, so I'm gonna have fun with it. Look at all this, guys, it just continues. We got funnel cake sticks, but I don't think I'm gonna get those. Filled soft pretzel bites, filled with beer flavored cheese. Holy crap, that is a yes. <laughs> Cheeseburger onion rings, cheese filled cheese balls. Oh my gosh, look at these. Golden Graham s'mores bites. Ugh. Oh, what is this up here? Seasoned pulled pork bites. I bet those would be good, too. It is a good thing that I watch how I eat most of the time. I'd be 600 pounds, man. Oh my god. Cinnamon Toast Crunch Bites. Hershey's Bites. I'm not really too hot on the super pretzels, but I do love these soft sticks filled with uh, cheddar cheese. Oh, they're so good. Alright, we got enough of that. Let's, uh, let's be on our way here. Okay, we need fajita seasoning. Um, there's McCormick. What is this? Hmm, that's more of a, a liquid seasoning. I know they have the Blackstone kind back in a totally different part department, which makes no sense whatsoever. 
think we'll grab a couple of these, at least until we get back to that other department and see what that one consists of. Here's some Chi-Chi's fajita-style wraps. Hmm. I'm really liking the idea of the sauce. Hmm. I think we'll keep a hold of that for a little bit, too. Not sold on those wraps, though. Let's go over here and see if we can find some different ones. See, I'm making them for my parents, too. So, I have to kind of make sure that I get something that they would like, too. Alright, these are the lower carb ones that I would option for over over those Chi Chi's ones. Did I even put them in here? I don't think. Yeah, so we're good. Alright guys, we gotta head back to the garden center, believe it or not, to get this other seasoning, or at least check it out, see how it is. It is specific Blackstone seasoning. Blackstone fajita seasoning, that is. So, we'll check it out, but I might just get the... Uh, the liquid stuff. Special shout out to Trevor who I just met back there making a beeline out when he saw me. <laughs> okay, apparently this stuff is in aisle Y1. Oh, well, I suppose maybe it is. Let's see. Cheese steaks. Holy crap. That looks good. What are we looking for though? I've already forgot. Here we go. Blackstone taco and fajita seasoning. Um, I'll get it. Look at all this stuff, guys. Breakfast blend, teriyaki, crazy Cajun, tequila lime, chicken and herb, whiskey burger, holy crap. All purpose, Parmesan ranch. They've got so many, that's not Blackstone, but still. This stuff right here though, ah. Oh, I'll buy it another time, but man, I gotta get that. This is cool, I didn't even know they had all this huge selection of Blackstone stuff here. Holy crap, look, they have a taco rack. I'm totally getting it. <laughs> it is definitely something that I will use on the road in my RV. I love tacos and I can't imagine tacos on the Blackstone are not gonna be absolutely delicious. All right, I think that pretty much does it. Sorry I've taken up half of the movie video shopping for, uh, for Blackstone stuff and fajita stuff. But that's what I'm going to be doing tonight. And like I said, I'm going to be making another video of it too while I go through the whole process. So if you guys want to see that, it's probably going to be on the other channel, Nate the Bee and the Big RV. So hop over there, subscribe, check that out, and uh, let's get back to our Joe Dirt movie night. All right, guys, I am home. Oh, my gosh. The time is just flying today. Let me show you what we got here. We got... <laughs> Oh my god, I just crack it up. All right, we got white trash carnival food, mozzarella sticks. We got beer flavored cheese filled pretzel bites. I cannot wait to taste those. We got corn dogs. We got Joe Dirt. And to top it all off, if you have not seen it yet, you have to go right after this video because it ties right in and watch my Phantom Fireworks video. Because we got snakes and sparklers. This, guys. <laughs> we got snakes. Magical snake assortment. There's six boxes in here. How many in each box? Six in each box. Snakes suck, man. They're just the, the black like charcoal. You light them. We're going to do it in just a minute. But you light it and it just grows like a snake. And then we got sparklers. And these were all buy one, get one free. So I have what? Six, four, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve boxes, twenty-four boxes of sparklers, and there's six sparklers in each, and then we got all of these snakes. Anybody who's already watched the Phantom video, you were probably like, oh, I can't wait for you to light off the awesome stuff you got. Guys, this is Ohio. All of them allowed to light off <laughs> these sparklers and snakes, and then I actually have some uh, some smoke bombs here somewhere that I picked up the other day in that Dollar Tree video. So we're gonna light off a couple of those too. I wish we could light off some enormous fireworks, but um, you know, I ain't going to jail, so. And the other reason is because snakes and sparklers are the only fireworks that Kick and Wing sells at his, uh, his fireworks stand in Joe Dirt. Again, if you have not seen Joe Dirt, you gotta go get it. It's absolutely hilarious. I'm gonna put our fair food away for the moment. Joe Dirt, 
I'm going to eat that stuff and watch the movie after a bit. Right now, we're going to go burn some snakes and sparklers. Okay, here's the smoke balls I got from the dollar store the other day. I have no idea how well these are going to work, but we're going to try these out first. And that's not too bad for a dollar store uh, smoker there. Making a lot of smoke over here. Holy crap, they stink too, man. <laughs> oh, that was over pretty quick. Okay, kind of hard to light these. Shut up. Kind of hard to light these because uh, the wind's blowing. Shut up. Okay, I managed to get two of them lit at once here. There we go. Ooh, they got colored smoke, yellow and a green. Cool. So red. <laughs> Okay, then I got these teepeed together so I can light one and all three will go. All right, here we go. They're going. Here we go. White, green, and yellow all at once. So rad. <laughs> oh my gosh, smoke bombs are so wimpy. There goes the smoke up over the thing there. All right, well, that was the radical smoke bombs. Let's go to the snakes and sparklers here. All right, this one is called a boa. It says glow worms on there, but I don't know if these actually glow. I highly doubt it because these things are usually just just black dust. All right, so this is the packaging. They come in inside the box, and there's six of them there. All right, well, I got two of them lit here. Ooh, the third one caught on. Cool, it looks like they're going to all catch on in a row. This is what snakes do, guys, if you've never seen them. The wussiest of fireworks ever. <laughs> They just grow. They grow and then as they like fall apart, look. Oh, they stink so bad. And then when the wind blows, that stuff will just like turn to dust and blow away. Grow snakes, grow. A little bit left on this one. That must be the older brother. Yep, that's it. That is the snakes, guys, right there. That's all they consist of. That was rad. <laughs> all right, let's get some of these sparklers done. All right, so we got six of these things. They're not very long. Those are probably about four inches long each. And then there's a little uh, wire handle to hold on there. If you hold on them for too long, they'll burn your fingers, kids. So be careful. All right, I got them wedged between these two rocks here. I'm gonna light them all at once. Ooh, ouch, that burned me. <laughs> That's why you gotta be careful. I only got one, there's another. They're catching on. They're sparkling. They're so rad. That's sweet and cool. Oh my God, it's already over. <laughs> I don't remember sparklers ever burning that fast in my life. We used to light those things and run around in the yard like <laughs> when we were little kids. All right guys, I'm packing up the snakes and the sparklers taking them in. You guys can now go watch the awesome Phantom Fireworks 2020 video that I did yesterday. I swear I was in there for like three hours filming. Sorry we didn't actually make a snack or a t-shirt tonight, but I didn't want to let you down. I did want to give you a movie night on Saturday night. Now go watch the fireworks video and I'll see you guys next Saturday.